The Senate dealt gun rights advocates a tough blow on Wednesday, rejecting a measure that would allow people with concealed weapons permits to carry hidden weapons into other states. Supporters argue that the law would benefit truck drivers and travelers who need to protect themselves. This legislation will help people who follow the law and obey gun laws the, help them be able to travel throughout the country without tripping themselves up and getting in trouble when they don't mean to get in trouble. On this vote, the A's are 58, the nays are 39. Under the previous order requiring 60 votes for the adoption of this amendment, the amendment is withdrawn. That is just two senators short of the 60 votes needed to approve the measure. The opponents prevailed, arguing that the measure violated states' rights. Is that the pro gun lobby has always said, let the states decide, and now they're doing a 180 degree turn and saying, let the federal government decide and impose the lowest common denominator when it comes to carrying concealed weapons on all of the states except Illinois and Wisconsin. Some states require fingerprinting, gun training, and a federal background check in order to get a concealed weapon permit. Other states give out permits to almost any gun owner. Republican Senator David Vitter reminded his colleagues that the NRA and Gun Owners of America were watching the vote and paying attention to lawmakers who oppose their cause. Lobby organizations and voters may have gun rights on their mind when election season rolls around. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.